All right, welcome back, everybody. So we're going to continue our trek into this, and uh, this should not take long. I'm just going to add two new maps to this. One is going to be an opacity, and the other is going to be an emissive. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to start. I'm just going to jump out of here. I'm going to go to this window group because that's where I want my opacity. So I'm going to select my window group, go ahead down into it, and um, I don't actually have to go into this necessarily. It's just kind of how I tend to approach this. I'm going to go to this drop down right here under the X and in this drop down let's go to a add new map and in the add new map we're going to add an opacity map. Now the way opacity maps work is anything that is white is visible anything that is black is invisible so here you go so here's our current opacity map now notice it kind of detected glass here and it said hey glass should be like invisible you should be able to see through it and that's kind of how it's automatically created our opacity map and we can take a look at this if we come over here make sure that you click on your object <coughs> on your object <laughs> click on your object and in our rendering mode change it from opaque to either cutout which which should actually look different than that or um, fade Okay, let's just go to transparent then. Well, I should actually be able to see through it. I don't know why I'm not at the moment. Uh, but yeah, well, this will probably, we'll probably get it fixed here in just a couple minutes. Maybe because this isn't quite dark enough. So I want to do a couple things here. Uh, one of which is it with my opacity map that you can see we've got this opacity map out here. Let's go to... Let's get out of this group. Let's go to our LCD screen group. Let's go inside our LCD screen group. And I want to go ahead and I want to modify my opacity. Well, actually, I'm just going to. Yeah, that's just changing that dirt right there. So I want to be able to modify my opacity right here within my, uh, my, my group here. So my security console, I'm on the opacity right here. So let's go ahead and we'll just go ahead and let's paint on this. Let's see, that's on my dirt layer though. Oh, actually, let me show you something here. Uh, notice the opacity. You can see how this is all set up here like this. And if we go over here to the albedo, it, it's we've got different colors here. Same thing with the gloss. So as we change different ones of these tabs uh, th this is one of those that always tends to confuse me a little bit but each one and it shouldn't it's just I, I don't know I, I get weird about it but each one of these tabs we can make these whatever color we want without impacting our other things so for my opacity uh, my dirt yeah I want it to be white that sounds good uh, all white yep for my edges let's make it all white because I don't want any part of this thing to actually be see-through and for my glass down there, I'm going to make it all white. At least I'm going to try to. There it goes. All white. There we go. And now you can see that the only thing that has any opacity is that window right up there. So let's go back. And let's go back to our window. And maybe do a little bit of tweaking here. So I've got my rendering mode set to transparent. Looks good. All right, let's do some tweaking on our opacity map up here then. Uh, let's make the glass, let's make it darker, okay, so that it becomes more see-through. Let's hit our refresh here. There you go. You see how that updated there, and now I'm able to see through this more so. Now there's nothing really behind it, so you know that's why I'm not seeing too much, but I'm able to see through here better than I was. So the darker this is, the more see-through this becomes. Uh, maybe we'll make it just a smidge darker. Not much. I don't want it like clear transparent. So I think I'll darken it up to maybe about there. Let's go ahead and let's update, refresh that. Okay. There we go. I like that. I'm going to go ahead and save my uh, project. And now that I've got that project or that saved, let's go back out. And I'm going to go ahead and so I'm going to get out. I'm going to get out. I'm out. Let's do 
uh, hit our drop down let's go to a add new map and under the add new map what I want to add this time is going to be an emissive map and I'm going to make both this window and this keypad emissive so let's go ahead and go to and you can see what our emissive map looks like by default uh, so basically anywhere that's black does not emit light and anything that has color emits that kind of color so I need to definitely do some working on this I've got the emissive select I'm going to go into panel base down here let's go into its group and I want to make sure all of these are black they should all be black they look like they're all black okay those were all black so let's take a look at um, let's try the screws and rivets let's make sure that we don't have anything weird going on there they're all black that looks good uh, nameplate anything going on here looks all black looks good let's go back here to our keypad anything going on here drop into there it's all black LCD screen that's all black too huh that is so strange this is the emissive for the LCD screen is what it claims and it's going to here okay so <laughs> uh, I, I guess currently all this smudging actually isn't there it just looks there looks like it's there for whatever the reason okay so what I want I'm gonna start off with my uh, keypad I want it I want these buttons to kinda glow so I'm gonna select my keypad go into the group right there and let's go to the plastic base I want it to glow yellow ish there we go you can see what that's doing there let's go ahead and you can see now we've got a yellow glow out here so that's glowing kinda neat uh, now maybe I want it to glow on on like my color fill instead of on the plastic base but uh, I I want it to actually glow on the plastic base and I don't know why that's just what I want so that's what I'm gonna do uh, if I wanted to change it let's try changing this let's put this back to black right there uh, let's put it on this color fill one that we we added at the uh, tail end that we were working on that and we'll throw it up let's try a yellowish color let's try pulling you up to here and now you can see where that glows so it's not it, do, it only glows in the certain worn areas the other areas don't have any glow so maybe that's what I actually want you know it's it really depends on what we want do we want the uh, worn areas glowing or do we want the worn areas to be smudged and they're not glowing um I think I'm gonna try this approach right here and if I end up not liking it to change it I just change this right here so that's not really a deal breaker uh, let's uh, brighten up that glow a little bit maybe that way there we go I like that I feel better about that one so that's closer to what I want I'm gonna go ahead and save my project at this point then I'm gonna go look at my LCD screen and get that thing glowing so let's go back out of here go to my LCD screen let's open that up and um, you know what it's gonna be glass so I'll select my glass I want it to be green let's try maybe let's try that there we go we got a nice little green glow there uh, now I could drop this some drop my opacity down on that a little bit if I want so that it's not quite as glowy if you will but it's still kind of glowing it's kind of whatever we really want out of that so okay so I've got my missive and I've got my opacity set up so let's go ahead and save our project again and now that we've got bo both of those maps added to our Quixel project we're ready to go ahead and kind of finalize some things getting ready to go into our actual final project um, so I'm gonna close out 3 do I'm done with 3 do and I'm gonna give 3 do a minute there I'm going to back out of D do right there and I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I've got my project saved 
save project. All right, so my project is saved. Uh, we can see everything that we've got right there. I can go to my albedo, my gloss, my metalness, my normal, my opacity, and my emissive. All right, so feeling pretty good about this. So next up, we're going to go ahead and in our next video, we'll make some minor changes here and there, and we'll get this thrown into Unity and see what we've got. And in fact, we'll probably just throw it into Unity and then see what changes we we need to make. So we will see you in that one.